your personal life. So obviously you have an extremely stressful job, um, or at least maybe at least seems oh, like is. to me. It can um, yeah. What are you doing um, on your personal time to maintain good mental health and physical health and manage that stress? Kind of what do you do to fill your tank? Yeah. For, for me, uh, my personality style, it's alone time. Yeah. Uh, and for me, it's running. So I'm, I enjoy running. Um, I don't run with music. I run with my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I run by myself. I don't run with others. It's not that I'm opposed to running with others, but, uh, uh, that is my time. And I tend to run before work. Um, I don't do it every day, but I exercise in some fashion seven days a week. Um, I feel like that's important. I want to keep flexibility if I can. I do something called, I call it stretching. It's maybe mild yoga. Yeah. But I do it on my own based on what a physical therapist taught me here locally when I had an injury. And, and I continue to do that and add to it, and, you know, and some basic stuff, sit-ups and push-ups, but mostly stretches that were recommended. Uh, so I do that on non-run days. But for me, it's that it's that time of uh, running, um, and I, you know, for, for me, that's a time when I communicate with God mm-hmm. um, and uh, just get my thoughts together yeah. for the day. And, and that's just really, that's really helped me. I'm a big music fan as well. I like light jazz and, and classical. I played cello in yeah. high school. And uh, so music's another way that uh, I can... Uh, get some of that stress gone, but mostly it's exercise. Um, so, and that, that's awesome. I think stretching is insanely overrated. I mean, sorry, sorry, insanely underrated. underrated. Um, uh, when I'm like in my best, like mental, like health state, that's when I'm stretching every day. And it's funny, you know, not to make excuses, but like young kids and everything, it's like, Oh, I could start at 5am. I could start at, you know, six 30 and, uh, I haven't been as disciplined as I've wanted to be in the past. But um, stretching has been really, really helpful. And then I'm, I'm similar. I would say probably every, probably two out of three runs, I don't listen to anything. I'm just running. And it is really, I don't, and I also don't like running with people. I agree with that. Um, but it's kind of liberating kind of in a way. Yeah. Just to kind of get out. Now, I start my day the same way every day. And what that, I start with drinking 16 ounces of water. Okay. Then I read the Bible. Mm-hmm. And I go from, I'm going from, front to back, and then I do it over and over and over, you know, however long, you know, but I'm I'm not reading deep into the Bible. I have then a devotion that I read, and then I read a book, and it's usually on, um, the one I'm reading now is called Trusted Leaders. Okay. Uh, It's a a newer release, but I I read on what can help me as a person uh, be better at what I do. Um, I read some history and biographies. I like to see what others did. I really admire like Churchill and, and Lincoln, uh, they went through some really challenging yeah. situations. And, and uh, But I read a lot of, I lead, read some history, but I read a book, uh, what ends up being about 50 books a year, and I have for 20 years. So after I do that is when I do my stretching and or running. What time are you waking up in the morning typically? About five. Okay. I, and get, then, up, I get up early. And then you get into the office around eight o'clock? Yeah, 7.30 to eight. Yeah, yep. that's a good time. 